A common question that I receive is, where are certain prepared config files located? Today, we are going to cover just that, and I'll share some tips along the way. Of course, I won't be able to cover every config file out there, but I will cover some of the major ones that are often modified by users. And I'll even show you how to restore the config files to their default state. Let's hop right into it. So let's start by discussing what a config file is and why we would even care to modify it. I keep saying config file, but it stands for configuration file. That means it controls the settings of prepared. Now, of course, many of these settings can be modified within the prepared UI or user interface. However, sometimes you actually want to modify it in the file instead. For example, maybe you are transferring from one computer to another and you want to bring your settings over. You could just copy over your settings files or your configuration files instead. Most of the config files that we'll cover today will be in either two file formats, a .xml or a .cfg. These config files exist in three main locations. You have program data, app data roaming, and app data local. Let's first start by talking about program data. Files located here are for global system settings. This means regardless of which user is logged into the machine, these are settings that prepared will use. So how do we access these files? Well, we can open up a file explorer and we can go to the C drive and then you can go to program data. This may be hidden, so you will have to unhide hidden folders from your file explorer. You can do this by going to view and click hidden items. Once you click into program data, you can go down to Lockheed Martin and then choose your version of prepared. Now, personally, I think that's the long way of getting to the program data file. Here's a quick tip. I'm going to use a shortcut to get to this folder. I can use an environmental variable or nvar for short. I'm going to open up a new file explorer and in the search bar up here, I'm going to type in percent program data and then close off the percent sign and hit enter. That way I can hop directly to the folder. And again, from there, you click into Lockheed Martin and go to your version of prepared. Once you're in the folder, you can see all of the different XMLs that are inside of here. Some of the main ones I use are addons.config. I use dis entity types if I'm doing some networking. And I also like to mess around with the portals.xml if I'm using virtual or mixed reality. So let's take a look at one of these files. I'm going to open up the portals.xml file. You can open it in your text editor of choice. Here I'm using Notepad++. And as I make changes to this file, once I hit save, then the file should be good to go. Once prepared reloads, this file would be loaded in. The next location is app data roaming. This location is for user specific configuration files. Again, this means whoever is logged into the machine are gonna have those specific changes. To get to this, I'm going to use another environmental variable, but again, you could go through the file system. I'm going to come up to my search bar and I will type in app data in between the percentage signs and hit enter. And notice this takes me directly into the app data roaming folder. Just like before, you hop into Lockheed Martin and then go to your version of prepared. I would argue that this is one of the most common places to modify config files because there are some major ones here. Again, we have an addons.config file. I will talk more about that later. But one of the big ones here is the prepared.cfg. So let's open up the prepared.config file. As you can see, there are a ton of settings in here. There's so many to touch on that I'm not even going to get started with this. But this is a good starting spot if you wanted to see some of the different settings that you can change with prepared. Another file that I commonly mess with is the cameras.cfg. This is how you can create different custom cameras, so different views inside of prepared. When I'm working with networking, I often use DIS or distributed information system. So I will come out to the disk configuration settings and I will mess around in here to get my settings, set my IP address, uh, subnet mask, all the things that I need to do in there. Now there's one more other file that I would like to talk about real quick here, and this is the dxdiag.txt. 
Now, this is a system call. Uh, if you've ever used DXDiag before, you're very familiar with this, but this will tell you all about your system. This file will show all of the hardware that you're running on your PC. This is very helpful for developers to know, okay, you have this system configuration and this is maybe what's causing the problem. So for example here, you can see the type of motherboard that I'm running, my BIOS update and the CPU that I have. Even the RAM is listed on here. Additionally, it's helpful for developers to know what type of graphics card you're using. So if I scroll down, you can see I'm using a RTX 3080 and you can even see what resolution I'm running at. In this case, I'm on an ultra wide monitor. The last location is the app data local folder. Now, this is not one that you're often going to come to because these are prepared generated settings. So things such as your shader cache could be found here. With default system settings on Windows 10, you don't have an NVAR to use to get to app data local. So instead, I again type in the percent app data, and then at the top here, I click on app data again, and that'll take me up one level in the file system. And then I can go to local, and again, hop into Lockheed Martin, and then your version of prepared. So, as you can see, this folder is pretty empty. I have some auto-generated effects and shader caches, and then some auto-saves from when I was working in SimDirector. I'd like to talk real quick about the addons.cfg, which is located in both the program data, which is on my left here, as well as the app data roaming, which is on my right. So like I said before, program data is for global system settings, and app data roaming is for user-specific settings. So why would we want the addons.cfg to exist in both places? Well, for example, let's say that you are running a schoolhouse or something like that, and you want all of your students to have access to certain add-ons. Well, then you would modify the program data addons.cfg. But you also want to give some autonomy to the students to have their own configs, so you put and addons.cfg in the app data roaming as well, and they can have their own add-on specific to those users. This also gives you control as admin to activate or deactivate certain add-ons if they're in the global settings. So for example here, on my program data side, if I open up the addons.cfg, you can see that there's nothing in here. So there's nothing for all users to use. But if I come over to the right-hand side, which is my app data roaming, then I can see that I have specific add-ons that I want to use as myself. So let's say that you've messed up your configuration files and you want to revert back to your default. Now there's a few options here, but I'm going to show you my quick tip for fixing these files. So what I did is I navigated to the install location of prepared. In this case, I'm using version five. So once you get to that install location, you can scroll down and you're gonna find this file called delete generated files. This is a shortcut. And once you run this shortcut, it will delete all of the config files that it can, and they will be auto-generated next time you start up prepared back to your default settings. For completion, it's gonna be annoying for me, but I will show you the delete generated files and I'll just rebuild my settings after. So I will delete my generated files and you can see this window pops up. It will take a moment to find the files and go through and delete them very quick, and you can see that the files are gone. Just to show that, I am going to go to my app data, roaming, and go into Lockheed Martin. Now you can see, once I got to my app data roaming folder, that everything is gone inside of there. So the next time that I start up prepared, those files will auto-generate, and I will be back to my default settings. And just for awareness, this does not delete any add-ons or any of your scenario files that you've generated. So you can see in my documents folder, I still have both of my add-ons in there. And then on the right-hand side, I still have my different scenario files. So next time I start up prepared, prepared will ask me if I want to include these add-ons, um, but my scenario files will still be in there. So there you have it. That is how you work with the config files in prepared. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, leave a like, it always helps out the channel. And as always, 
Thank you for watching.